Things are starting to heat up on an all-new episode of W3. Join Big Dog, Andrew Everett, Living Legend, Courtney Rush, and Dino Winwood for an all-new action-packed exciting episode of Dub 3, the best wrestling in the whole wide world. Welcome to another installment of W3. I'm so glad you guys are here. We have a pay-per-view quality. This this card is insane. I've already spoken on some of them. Some of the other matches that uh, that, that we didn't speak on are crazy as well. A hell of a night in store for the W3 faithful. So let's go ahead and reveal our junior heavyweight match to start the night off. Former tag team champions of the world. Oh no, no. Shaolin and Hanzo Mon squaring off here, putting uh, putting their past by the wayside, looking to tear it up tonight. These guys are no strangers to another one another in the tag division. Not only that, but they have crossed paths against each other once here in W3 in a multi-man match, and multiple times. On the independent circuit before they got to W3. This is the first singles meeting of these two, I do believe. I would have to go back and check Little Wolf's stat book. But um, this one has a ha has a great chance at starting the night off just right here. Uh, I know Hanzo Mon's been on a tear as of recent. Shaolin is probably the guy that knows him best here. And I wonder if that's going to play into any game plans in this match. Do they let it all hang out? Do they reserve because they don't want to beat the hell out of each other? Or do they just go in there and just tear each other apart? Legend, what are you thinking on this one? These guys are competitors, Big Dog. We we mentioned we speculated on this when they first started venturing into the junior heavyweight division after being the tag team champions. They're going to, they're going to compete if that means crossing paths. I believe we saw them both in an eliminator at yes. one point. They didn't pull any punches because they know what it means. It's it, it's a it's about business, and these two are all business, and they are professionals. Yes. Unlike somebody, and if we can maybe not throw any chairs into the ring this time and criticaling Hansamon, that would be amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Dino, how do you see this one falling? So Shaolin definitely not going the well. Well, it, it depends what, what movies you've seen, but uh, one would say the non-monkish way by gouging into people's <laughs> eyes. I mean, it really just depends. It could be White Lotus style. I don't know. But, I mean, he uh, he's definitely uh, thrown a few uh, bells and whistles into his arsenal uh, against uh, Hans Oman, who has just been a solid, a solid uh, guy in the ring, whether it be singles or tag. Uh, this is a hard one to call because we're, we've gotten so used to seeing them pair up, but now yes. it is a, one across from the other. So, uh, uh, oh, man. I, I'm kind of leaning a little more towards Shaolin. I, I have that feeling as well. Let's go ahead and hop into this one and see if me and Dino's feelings are right. I think Shaolin has the key, the tools to get the job done. Shaolin Hanzaman coming up right now.
W3 favorite in the junior heavyweight division, Hansa Mon set to square off, pointing his partner out. These two are about to go at it. You bring it, because uh -huh. I'm going to bring it. Shouts out to the Mad Kurt with the follow. <laughs> One of my favorite wrestlers. <laughs> Throw thrust there. Immediately a reversal there. Ooh, slid through the backdrop attempt. The back body drop, I should specify. Well, you're not going to catch him that easily, big dog. Suplex over that straight palm strike right to the face. Rear chin lock applied there. Quick out of it, though. Into the corner. He's clearly lined up for something ah, in the there corner. There it is. <laughs> Shallow <Shallan> technique. <laughs> Going to the eyes the early. Again, uh, we had mentioned, were they going to hold back uh, being former tag team champions? Not the case at all. He immediately that. goes through the eyes. That's just how he does. Oof, into those buckles. You see the ankles and the heels colliding in with those uh, pad-enforced steel hooks. And now picking him up, slamming him down. As I stated, Hansaman, solid guy, man. He stays focused. That's why former tag team champion is Shaolin, though. Definitely turn a little more to the dark side. Might start wearing a, a jean vest or something to go with the <laughs> And now he's got a chair. I mean, they're not shy from using weapons. That's for damn sure. Immediately swinging a chair at his former tag team partner. I can't even say former. I'm sure these guys have no ill will towards each other at the moment, at the time being. But um, not it's that like I've heard. business. Leap over, drop to hold Jaguar defense there. Had something in mind. And also, it's worth pointing out that the tag team division is hot right now, Big Dog. There are a lot yes. of teams, very, very back and forth competition, and it's it, it's a it's a hotbed to try and get through. The oh, junior God. heavyweight division. Fourth. Oh. oh. And immediately goes for the pin. Flat on his fucking face. The junior heavyweight division is much more open right now. And, yes. And, and if. They, if they're going to compete in it, they have to throw everything into it, and that means against each other as well. Well, still young into the history of W3, we have made some key signings, and that has paid off for each division, not only the tag division, but the junior heavyweight and heavyweight division, uh, as, as you've seen going forward. Another one oh, coming one. up! Going for the kill and early! Ooh. Oh, getting closer. If he nails one more, this could be it. Flipping, not seem to be the case, though. That flipping big boy. boy. Kit combination there. But yeah, with with the emergence of of a, a couple tag teams as of recent in the recent weeks, even uh, that tag team division has filled out. Especially from the junior division. Originally, Hanzo and Shaolin were the only two juniors in the entire tag team division. Then Widow and Beast came in. Turk. <gasps> Whoa, oh, rolling the turn Dave Centon. Oh. <laughs> and most recently, Critical Friendship. Beautiful counter there. Nice! Oh, he's going for the speed. Flippy boy. See that maneuver there by Shaolin done? It looks so comfy in those big, puffy white pants. It's like by Yamas. Whoa! Oh, rolling oh, through! One, one two, two! You were thinking maybe Shaolin aimed to catch him in a power bomb. He rolled right through and again. again. One, two, no. Oh, he's so fast. One of the quicker guys in W3. Oh, he chopped his oh. knee. What? <laughs> 540 moonsault senton. Is One, it enough? Two, three, oh. no. It's off. Oh, he set perfectly. 450! Whoa! Oh, 450. Whoa. Oh, he right out! 450 oh, again! No, that's it! He's so up! Ball. Why is he up? Oh, and because he's... he's chopping him down, big dog! It yeah. is on! Showing him what he thinks of the fact that Hanzo's that much faster than him. Oh, ah! I'm down! Two, three! three. <laughs> and as Mad Kurt says, I want white fans to win! Uh. No dice! <laughs> this ain't over. <laughs>
Well, tonight it is. <laughs> For now. Oh, shit. Great way to kick off the night. 11 minutes, 33 seconds. Fisherman Driver, he just had him curled up and dropped him right on the back of his brain, Dino. Holy hell. That's really the kind of performance Hanzo needed, too. Um, after he, he did have a, a strong couple of matches and then getting knocked out, who, uh, who knows? You know, sometimes you don't come back from a knockout that easily. And who better? Honestly, think of think of all, all your greatest feuds, all your greatest matches in your history. Who brings it out of you more than your best friend? Exactly. It's very, very common in professional wrestling. Not only in W in W three. That's the best friends make the best the, enemies. The entire well. wrestling universe. And, and see, and Hanzo and Shaolin brought out some some intensity out of each other tonight. That was amazing to see, and that is definitely what Hanzo needed moving forward. Huh. Hey, Ginger, what's going on? Ginger, we have been joined by the Mad Kurt. I would call him a shitter, but he would just troll me on, on Twitter really hard because hey, he, he is... You think that's a rhyme that time, little dicky? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I, I rhyme without meaning sometimes to. Sometimes you rhyme slow, sometimes you rhyme <laughs> quick. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, I hope you're doing well, too. You're pretty slick. Hot out and then a chico stick. <laughs> Stop doing this. I didn't even mean to rhyme. I don't even have that skill. This time. <laughs> hey, man, just chill. Don't be ill. Oh, my God. Roll up with the posse. Go <laughs> get bit. No, I'm not doing this today. Oh no, my D. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> and scene. Yep. Did Your you next matchup. Did you, did, well, did you see? <laughs> did you see that Kurt said I he couldn't be mean to me because I don't I don't tweet anything dumb. You have many many times where you're like, why did you tweet that? I'm gonna take a bump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a few seconds ago, you uh, well, I should say minutes because I rambled. Um, you know how you we mentioned... always follow up the junior heavyweight opener big talk. You, you would mention criticals earlier. I did. There you go. You would mentioned criticals, and, and this might be one of those situations. On to the hosses. Uh, the 68340 Kim Chi. Cousin Kim Chi, not Kim Chi. He's the cousin. Also named Kim. Which, clearly there's a family issue there. Taking on I Doja. I have a cousin and an aunt with the same name. Yeah, your family's gigantic. Weird. Why are you making fun of them? Because they come I, from a very prestigious family. They do. The cheese, the cheese are and martial artists. I mean, and Kim is also cousin, a cousins, traditional name in their in their bloodline. Cousin, so cousin's dad wasn't even cousin's father wasn't even a wrestler. He was a martial artist. Show some, put some respect on the Chi name. I look, all the respect given to the cheese. He's got his hands full to here tonight with somebody who has been knocking people's brains in. Busting brains, even. Speaking of, we have an early KO of the night Well, it's apropos, as it does feature one of these two men. Sure. I think you know which one. And now the W3 knock, 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 knockout of the... The drillo himself. Shot of the mouth. Mouth, mouth. Go. All to the eyes goes executioner. He will do what it takes to win. <gasps> he fucking critical pass. He snapped that one off quick. For more extreme knockouts and other exciting moments, tune in to W3, the best wrestling in the whole wide world. Shin, did you see that monitor? What the hell? <laughs> Mine just started fritzing out. <laughs> no, what the did someone Why in the we... truck? I guess someone in the truck helping out with the higher brick movement. Damn. Is that really what I sound like? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Oh, wow. I, 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 I think the same thing. I think the same thing. Super self-conscious about myself calling it back. I hate everything. What I don't <laughs> hate is hoss action, and we have it coming up here. Do you think Cousin K can get back on the horse and then... Beat the horse up that is Dosha. A horse coming to play. Yeah. I don't know anything about horses in this situation, Big What dog. about the horse? 
Oh, the hoss. Now, the mm. hoss is a different story here. Cousin Kim tends to surprise us. We, we, we think going in and he's yeah. usually going up against somebody who's on a bit of a hot streak, who has some momentum. We're like, oh, poor Kim. This isn't going to be his night. And then he kicks the crap out of whoever he's against. Doesn't always get the win, but wow, we get reminded about why it's stupid to underestimate him and underestimate the fact that he does come from, as you mentioned, a prestigious professional wrestling family. Yes. We sometimes it's, mm-hmm. his talent gets overshadowed by his cousins Kim and Ming, the members of the Chi Dynasty yes. here in in W three, and and that and that's really foolish. But it works out for him if his opponents make the same mistake as we do, as some of the fans do, and underestimate him as well. But Dojo, I don't think that's the kind of competitor Dojo no. is. He doesn't underestimate. He watches, he learns, and he takes things apart. Just like we saw him do to Executioner. who I've rarely seen anybody no. handle Executioner like that. That man knocked out Wu Fang once. Like, I know. <laughs> you don't put that dude out. That's insane. And, and he beat him under 10 minutes. It's absurd. So, Dojo back on the rise, it seems. So I'm going to... I know I, ju- I just said we always bet against them and it's a mistake, but not with Dojo. I, I got to go with Dojo on this one. Dino, do you have any any anything else to give other than other other than what we just covered? Cousin K, uh, almost an uphill battle. Hill, you, you could go ahead and say uphill battle. Dojo has been on a streak as of recent. And I'm going to continue to bet against him because I want him to win. So <laughs> with, uh, Cousin Kim. Hey, strategy worked last time. On Mr. Dojo Rising. All so. right, let's go and get into this. As as Slip appears yeah, in the chat, he's here for the horses. Oh. Fencer Supreme with the follow. Thanks. <laughs> this isn't. This is just some fat licks. Wow. Very conscious about itself. They're okay. called thick licks. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? Jeez. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, it's with the PH. Thicker no. than a Brickers. Uh, so. <laughs> 1996 calls. <laughs> Why you all up in my grill? <laughs> Flex. Whoa, immediately Enough. trying to throw idiot. him. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Trying to go for a Northern Life Flex in the opening seconds of this match. Kick his head off, Dojo. You see, Dojo wasn't underestimating well, anyway. anything. Able to get his hips underneath him. That's hard to do when you're that big. Kim Chi, uh, Cousin K, I should specify. About 6'8", 330, uh, as I, excuse me, 340, as I specified earlier. Dojo. Yes. Dojo, about 290 himself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and now thrust it away. Oh, just straight up overhand chop. Oh, up. boy. Ooh, forward, forward drop on that. Working over those. Thanks. Oh boy, they they are feeling each other out, but they're feeling each other out with a high volume strike off. <laughs> Throat thrust there into the ropes. Dotro's not uh not very familiar being on the uh the 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 smaller side in a match. He's normally the biggest guy in the ring. Uh, in, in most scenarios, I should say. Not this time around. Maybe there's some big so ass some... here in the dub three. So what? So what? So what's the scenario oh! in this? Here we go, yo. <laughs> I was I was about to... son of a bitch, do you know? Landing with a couple low kicks, going to he's going for it again. Oh, no, he got caught again in that DDT, softening up the vertebrae for possibly a brain buster. <laughs> Oh, how poetic, for it seems that it is Cousin K who has underestimated Dojo. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I rolled my... 
and that's chopping down. Big flying elbow, just just completely taking leap on that one. And cousin Kim, although a little fatigued from that, needs to start kicking with those uh, torso kicks. Damn! He needs to do that take too. Take the off. Oh boy! Every no. single time he hooks for it, I'm scared. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big boy, <laughs> sir. It's a big boy. Boy, and throat chops a plenty. <laughs> Bear hug coming up. That's a lot of man meat right there. Just Those two belly battle. buttons kissed in, in an excruciating amount of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Into the corner we go. What does he got planned here? Chopping more his titties. Looks more like his teethies. <gasps> he's aiming a little high on that one. Reverse DDT yeah. fast though by Gojo. <laughs> that last one looked a little high. I would have been really mad. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's getting mad. <gasps> he's stealing it. He's <laughs> oh, to the outside. Trying to steal the knockout of the weak spot. Oh, and he is. Oh, 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 oh look at this. Shadass back in here. <laughs> Bitch, you thought? Dojo may be catching a break there. Mm -hmm. Must say. Dojo spits on your attempt to steal his finisher. Oh! <laughs> he's, oh. Up. he's right back up, though! Back elbow. We're gonna open the legs. He's trying to go for the down! Driving him down! He's, so he's back up again! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was all tip of the toes. The Just offense. Oh shit, what does he got playing here? Damn it. He's up again. Dude, Dojo a is not someone to be trifled with. Finally oh, putting wow. him down. It looks like uh, somebody opened a new business. <laughs> Right behind that left ear, that landed heavy. Well, he knows he's the knockout of the night. He's, he's trying to go for a twofer. Would it be the first twofer? Oh, I don't know. I think so. Oh, eight one. The back of that foot, that heel, catching thick <laughs> into the gums of the teeth. Thick Ow. gums. Thick teeth. <laughs> Kim is faring better than I thought he was in this match. Only the second match of the night, guys. <laughs> the world knows him. <laughs> Short arm lariat once again. He is back up. Quick recoveries here by Dojo. But Kim is kind of taking control of this match at the moment. Oh, as I say that. Oh, there it is. Sweet Chokuroka! I think that wear and tear of Kim's offense as of recent. Well, God, it's got add up. Mmm. Fight forever. Bop, 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 bop. Well, this is now the greatest match of all time. Clog their bonkers. <laughs> Again! Oh, shit! Will this be the one? One! Two! Two! No! No! Oh! <laughs> He saw him squatting down, getting ready for something. He's like, nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. And he is still hurting the sting of the ribs from those kicks. He's coming out here in front of us, in front of the Swedish announce table as well. Spin looks Dojo very displeased. Dojo waiting for him. He's catching his breath. And he took too <laughs> long on the outside. Caught another one in the midsection. Those, those look little chops. <laughs> they look really high, Dino. And now Wadlin gets <laughs> those three points. Nancy, he's back up. Whoops! Oh, ah! shit! Oh, oh no! Oh, burner! Him. That's gotta be it. Come on! Why are you pin? Nope, because he wants to dish it mm. out more. Psychopath. Ooh, hooking lariat there. Wonderfully done. I Me. must. I must say, for a man his stature. Cousin Kim moves around that ring very, very well. Oh! He he's not going to be moving if he takes too many of those. He's very comfortable inside those four sets of ropes. 
Uh, the squared circle, which in W3 for the newcomers is a 24 by 24 foot ring. It's that terrible. Oh, large, that's but it too gives much. Them lots of room to play. That's a bit of a stroll, yeah. So many room for activity. Right? Oh god. Oh. Oh. Paint them! Paint them! <laughs> activity oh, such as repeatedly kicking your opponent. <laughs> D yeah! D. We don't and even it seems have those like anymore. Adrenaline has now found its way into the systems of both these competitors as they're starting to get back up after the major head oh. drop. But I don't know about the head kicks, though. These two going at it. What does he got here? Just oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! With the Fiesta de Violenza! It is gorgeous! That was insane! Holy shit! Maybe we undersold Cousin K I here. I said we'd do it all I the mean, time. technically, I voted for him, so... It's true. And, and I struggled to not vote for him. We He's gone 20! They they have gone 20! Tojo, uh... Ooh, oh! <laughs> there it oh. is! As we were saying, one, two, two, three. three. Not an easy Damn. victory at all. That was good. That was excellent. As, as I said, we constantly, constantly underestimate somebody coming in with a hot streak. We think it's going to be an easy, uh, to take a page out of Abyssus book, easy clap. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and then Cousin Ken lets him know that he's going to be in for a fight. That was a fight. I mean, holy hell. 20 minutes, 51 seconds. Cousin K took it to Dojo, but it seems that Dojo just has too much momentum going forward, wants to keep it moving, and getting back into that top five in the heavyweight division, the contendership. And I must say, that division right now is absolutely stacked with talent. The top five is fucking absurd. It is a who's who of the heavyweight division. It really is. What do we got coming up next? Oh, we got tag team action coming up next. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the tag team division as I set up this next match. Uh, we have two teams here. Uh, one coming off of a bitter blood feud and one trying to get their feet back underneath them. Uh, I, I my brain, it's uh -oh. it, it it shorted out and I apologize. Well, as you reboot, let us take over. Please. Um, this that that synopsis you just gave a, a tag team trying to get their feedback back on pointed in the right direction and a tag team that just came off a of blood feud. That was the same story that was on Saturday because technical difficulties. Who you're about to see, who are trying to um reestablish themselves as top contenders in the tag team division in this recent resurgence that we touched on a little bit ago about how act how competitive the tag teams are right now in the w3 technical difficulties trying to reestablish themselves in there and got a big win against blood bolt on saturday uh bad blood and bolt jameson Tonight, they face the uh, the tag team on the other side that was in that blood feud. Kim and Ming Chi, the yes. Chi Dynasty. Their that brother. I was just talking about about their cousin, King, cousin K, in the previous match. I mean, are you it, rebooted? Yes, I am, and 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 it it's funny, you know, that these two, the uh, excuse me, these three individuals must have crossed paths uh, as as Kim came back from the curtain. You gotta look at that. You gotta look at at cousin K's uh, um, performance here tonight against Dojo, and there has to be some some amount of respect from uh, from Kim and Ming Chi, the brothers. Um, it. I don't know what's going on in that family. It got sidetracked. Kim, uh, cousin K, disappeared. Excuse me for a little bit. Took some time off after an injury, and uh, Ming Chi kind of came to. His brother's aid during Kim's injury. Two two Kims being injured is very very confusing, but uh, I mean, so is the fact that there are two Kim T's in W three. Obviously, you know, we're trying to get that situated, but you know. What's your okay. point, Ventura? 
My point <laughs> is, <laughs> I wonder after after recent after uh, uh, the Chi Dynasty and 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 Blood Bowl, Abyssa, and Hannibal. After that, all was left in the ring. Do you think that there's a chance that uh, that that they can patch up any sort of relationship with? A very, very, very uh, competent and 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 credible cousin K. I don't know. Uh, that that will be uh, that will remain to be seen. Well, keep in mind the 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 source of a lot of the discord in the Chi Chi family at that time was who Brother Kim was keeping company with. Yes, and who he still keeps company still with the likes of Pudge Tekka and Date Ken. So I don't know. I guess it depends if cousin Ch- cousin K has uh, has changed his stance, has changed his view as as brother Ming has to see what's more important, uh, disapproving of of your family members, friends, or or family, or sticking with family. It, I mean, right now is is <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say hey, cousin K, go 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 uh go make off with your uh. With your with your cousins there, but uh, I wouldn't look. They're still sore after that loss, and don't think that after Turk Nicole David called these beat Blood Bolt. If the Cheese got a win here, don't you think that they wouldn't just love that to beat a team that sure. Blood Bolt couldn't? Speaking of getting that win, do you think that they can get that win over the the uh, ever surprising Turk Nicole difficulties? Do you think? Do I think I? They can. Yes, absolutely. I think they can, especially if Kim Chi lands those dastardly kicks that he is so well known for that the he's knees, blown the kicks, people's faces gone. out. Yeah, before. literally, literally. blown people's faces. Do apart. I think they will? No. Technical oh, difficulties finds a way to win in those crucial matches, and they are always, always considered the underdogs, and they always, always prove everyone foolish for thinking as such. We say many times it's cliche at this point, but the only ones the Turk and Dave, uh, the only ones that don't know the Turk and Dave are smaller than all their opponents are Turk and Dave. Very true. Dino, after the Kim Chi's have have had literal wars in the W three, uh, do you think that they uh, they have the chance coming right out right out of the gate into the tag team division that the newly uh, the the the, the refreshed tag team division. I think that's a good uh, way to describe it. Do you think that they can... I don't think so, because that's not a word. Yeah. Refreshed. Re- refreshed <laughs> tag <know>. team division. <laughs> Do you think that they uh, come out and, and are immediate contenders with their with uh, their lineage and their, and their just raw talent and ability? Well, their raw talent and ability and lineage are fine. However, I don't consider them contenders because they... Uh, I mean... Uh, They've mostly gang attacked a lot of people, even in the matches that they've uh, done themselves. So uh, they have a lot of proving ground on my end, just to you know, to really show off their own uh, their own styles that they could do on their own. But against a team like Tactical Difficulties, I want them. I I want gold around them so much. I love Tactical Difficulties very much. I love the the time that these two have put in the ring together and outside the ring as well. And, uh, I mean, I'm going with them. All right. Uh, I, I, I think the cheese get it done here tonight, but, uh, I, I must, I must go ahead and point out that little wolf's here in chat and we love you little wolf. Oh, and, uh, live there's been a lot of cross referencing to your work. So it's <laughs> not in vain. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Tag team division action, technical difficulties taking on, one half of the Chi Dynasty, Kim and Ming Chi. Look at how goddamn in sync they are. Shitty wrist tape and all. You gotta love it. You gotta love the 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 support. Cooperation. The Turk doesn't ostracize Dave Karolinko for his anxieties. Absolutely. I love that. A check check. That's a real You're right team. back.
don't take that bow as a bow of respect. That is a mocking bow. That is a as a you can evil see right there in their, their team logo. Fuck, fuck respect. respect. That's definitely she not about respect. She is a dangerous, dangerous individual. Possibly the most dangerous professional wrestler on the planet. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe sends extreme division wrestlers, but uh, Kim Chi. He can Little blow your face apart. Extreme. One knee, one kick, that's all it takes. And we're seeing the knees immediately come out. Jaguar defense. Now, you might see technical difficulties go to the legs early. Uh, several several of their of their uh, their their more late match holds to to win a wrestling match are based around leg based offense absolutely uh, we also touched in the pre-match analysis of the fact that turk and dave are used to being smaller than their opponents so of course you would chop chop down the tree take the legs out of someone bigger than we've you. seen them do it time and time again but uh they're they've going, got a lot of they've got a lot of moves and a lot of work between them that, that targets the legs exactly like it's it's one of those situations where you might want to isolate ming chi because he's easier Ooh. to control Shooting in on kimchi, just trying to get to his legs, you put yourself at that risk of getting one of those knees to the face. Power bomb backcracker combo effortlessly on the execution there. Effortlessly. I'm gonna disagree with you. I think you target Kim. If most of your offense and most of your strongest uh, uh, strongest arsenal is leg based, wouldn't you take out the leg striker? You got to get to him first. You got to get to those hey, legs first. I agree, first. and you that's, a, that's another piece of the puzzle. But if you're if you're taking out Ming's legs and he's not the kicker, and Kim, and Kim gets in, he's gonna explode your head. Very good point. And it's not like we're selling Ming short either. He's no, a uh, he's just grappler. More upper body. Yeah, much more of a grappler. Uh, got got a judo yeah, background. And, too. Yes, my God, his <laughs> cranium, his, his steel plated cranium. Many times. His adamantium skull. Five gone. Speaking of skulls, Kim Chi working over that with that big overhand left. Now going to the leg of Kim Chi, like you had mentioned, like we had talked previously. I don't. Yeah, he dropped him with that kick immediately. Hey, I'm not saying it's dangerous, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. He dropped him immediately with that chest kick, legend. Like I said, <laughs> and I stress the word dangerous. Pulling him away from that corner, making the it's like touch. Trying to defuse the bomb. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Making the touch to uh, his younger brother, Kim. Oh! oh! Robin Charleston has color. He knows that Red Eagle's green. Kim used him to stop his momentum. <laughs> <laughs> this is genius. Robin knows that he gets that payoff. More, yeah. more money <laughs> off a of worker's comp he there. Does. He gets the BB, the blood bonus. Into the corner, just... Don't think all of that legend didn't used to take uh, take advantage of that back in her day. Now isolating Ming in the corner. Will he go? Yes, he's gonna wisely backtrack, kind of bring them to them. But he's gonna get the double suplex for his troubles. Laying him out on the sidewalk is Kim. Oh, oh! Almost got tangled up with Robin Charleston again. Robin Charleston always has the uh, tendency to. To interject himself in these matches. He's gonna interject real quickly here because those are close fits illegal here in W3, surprisingly. Robin lets a lot go, but a uh, close fist, that's too far. Too far. Too far. A man has to draw a line somewhere. Stalking him back into the corner, but maybe overexerting himself. No, absolutely kicking them both off. Stomp to the gut. Did you notice how he put his body in between Kim and and the rest of the ring? Very, very intelligent. Didn't pay off on him there. He caught the kick. There we go. They're extremely well-oiled machine, Big Dog. They work probably the best, arguably the best out of any team in this division. As I said, <laughs> the tag team division has gotten exponentially more competitive as of, re as of late, and that happens to be because of the... Uh, more and more teams are working as a team rather than t 
two individuals. Oh my god, they're both getting it. And someone who definitely is good at that is Kim and Ming Chi. Yes. A tag team for a very, very long time before they uh, had their had their differences uh, in 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 DOA. A family matter. Yes. Well, they grew up training together. That yep. means they grew up fighting each other, and they grew up fighting with oh, each other in each other's sweet corners. Sweet chakra. Brain buster. Yes, it, it, it's one of those things. It's 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 just in their coding. It's in their in their being to work with each other pretty seamlessly. And you saw that as soon as they started tagging here in W three. As soon as they started patching things up, they started working started very very efficiently. Page out of a uh, out of a uh, Karolinko's book there. He does use that clear relief hold, not quite the angle that uh, that Karolinko likes to hold on that submission. Oh, he scored with one. Are you talking about that Samara? The Samara backbreaker, yes. Terrifying thing hold. thing of beauty. He's actually critical people with that. Yes, he, he has. He has. From the pain. Oh! He just fell down into the brain buster. And he normally, oh, he set him up perfectly. Taken up by that tuft of hair on the front. Interesting. Oh, and then smoked with an adamantium bowling ball. Oh. Brain Buster right in the center of the ring. Oh, we got dropped. Snap suplex, Turk shooting those hips underneath to get that suplex oh, off. I wondered for a second if he knew that Kim Chi was legal. He turned around, saw him, and went and tagged in Dave. Karolinko's gonna eat one! <gasps> oh! And a second one! Oh my god! Getting oh. the... Falling into the ropes is Karolinko knocking him down, though. Those catching off guard every time, and just they're just nightmares. Striking with him is just never a good idea. Oh! oh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? You like to talk about educated feet, big dog. His went to uh, and they're bare to university. <laughs> yes, they did. A private university, forty grand a semester. Did Kim Chi's feet? Kim Chi's feet went to the Harvard of kicking. He's far away! Ooh, he had to cover that whole ring. And Dave was waiting up top. I was if he was just going to jump over the pin and try and catch Kim. Sent him down with a uh, sidewalk slam. Uh, almost a... a <laughs> em employer guy slam. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, using that head, but oh, now he's gonna. Oh, he landed that axe kick. Oh, he got one to the back of the head. Fuck me! And we have oh, a chair. He's just throwing him. He's just throwing him. Okay, guys, just get back in. Come on. Okay. <laughs> you're you're fucking out. with me, right? Who's legal? You're fucking. <laughs> I think they actually forgot which one of them was legal Ooh. in that me in that medlem. He's he he got hit with that uppercut. He's like, "Fuck this, I'm out." Oh, face plant. But he's in the wrong corner. Oh, stomach crusher. Stomp to the back. Picking him up, clotheslining him down, more like a lariat. Caught him right around the neck. Uh oh, he's paying for it. <laughs> oh god, that, that scream! Last knee, and he follows it up with the axe kick. He is horrifying. <laughs> and Turk and Dave really needs it. Like this is the moment where they need to tighten <gasps> up their tank. T driver work because. We are getting into dangerous territory. Kim is looking for that kill shot. Dumped him right on top of his neck. You saw him take that second to lay down and now paint oh God, rushing. 
The offensive onslaught of one Kim Chi is something to behold. Yes. And an axe can and then right he now. looked at Karolinko and gave him a bow. He's been in there a long time. Get out. Samara backbreaker! It's locked in. Can he get to the ropes? Where Where is Robin? He didn't even check. I, I, I believe Dave was the illegal competitor there. Oh. I don't think he knew, though. Yeah, yeah I got confused, too. Uh, this thing, everything's getting out of control now. Brain Buster on the outside is the two illegal. Ooh! Oh. 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 He's got a kid. Everybody getting involved here. I... Is there some uh, some issues I don't recall <laughs> between these two? I just think the the cheese are nasty individuals. Well, they as it are. Stands. But I mean, there's beating up someone, and then there's beating up someone you hate. You know what I mean? Like this, going well, for the pin. It's just a matter of everyone in the back has really had enough of the Chi Dynasty. Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> Out of nowhere. <gasps> He got that beautiful European on me, and then Kim <laughs> met him on the crossroads. Oh my god. Backcracker oh, again. Beautiful backcracker powerbomb combo. Kim is handling it himself. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, oh, trying oh, to steal one, you you sneaky, sneaky bastard. Into the corner. Now, in the wrong corner, though, he caught him. Going on 30 minutes, they are killing it right now. Went for that axe kick again, dumping him on the back of his neck. <laughs> Ming was like, ow, that probably hurt. Oh my god! <laughs> so pathetic. Jesus. Oh, he's in the wrong part of town out here in front of the Swedish announce table. Oh, he's handling his business, though. Oh! Oh my god! Kim Chi's a fucking murderer! This is definitely an area where the, the cheese are more comfortable. Yes. You don't see Turk and Dave going for the, oh going for the plunder God. very often. <laughs> Holy shit. He just... You saw him do that to, Bla uh, to Black Belt, actually, on Saturday. My God, Bjorn oh, no, is Paco spooked Loco. out of his seat after <laughs> that one. Oh, saving his partner that he was going to go for the Chi Triller. What? The Chi Triller. No. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Huge back-to-back -back wins for Turkical Davical. He's Turk coming out tonight <laughs> and dropping he him. Hooked, he hooked him up. I he, called it. He hooked him up. In a pump handle, and it just whoop, bite. spiked him down. Tombstone pile driver. I'm and gonna toot my own horn here. I said Turk and Dave find a way to win, but I did say that there was a chance, and you saw Kim going for it. He was looking for that kill shot. He was throwing knees. He was throwing shins. He was throwing feet. He was looking to feet. knock them out. You didn't see him go a lot for a lot of pin attempts. Not at all. Uh, Kim Chi was that? head hunting. He was looking to take his anger out on technical difficulties. Turk and, and Dave it backfired. Sure, everyone remembers that they were the were the were the first real team who like started and, and moved up the rankings and got to take it notice. Someone who there wasn't a team already in the in the W three. Yes. Uh, and and Hi. now with the with the emergence of so many more teams, Turk and Dave were like, mm, we still do it the best. And they're making some noise, enough noise, I think, to get Widow and Beast's attention. Very true. I mean, I, mean, I, I mean, would say. That, that is 
the reigning and defending tag team champions. Uh, we, we're gonna have to kick it off to 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 the booth. I th huh? get the truck on. is they they say they got a video for us. Yeah, apparently someone in the back's got something to say. Big shock. We got a very talkative. Well, let's, let's let's get one back there. Were they watching clips of, of what they did to, to Ladrillo? Room. Yeah, it was his locker room. They were watching what they did to Ladrillo in his own locker room and deciding to cut a promo there. What assholes? The 82, Skidoo. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Just a dick move. Dick move altogether. Just... He had his mask. He had his mask. He yeah. still had it. He was holding his mask. He had the little bit of Akiman's onesie. Do you know the therapy that Akiman had to go through about having his chest exposed? We all know now, Akiman is a is a strict never nude. Strict never nude. Being exposed like that was so vulnerable for him. He's gone. He's he's. He's been very traumatized. He's gone through a lot. And he's been back and he's been working through that. He's been back in the locker room passing out uh, flyers, actually. I saw today. He asked me to take a couple pictures, which I'll show. Uh, I'll show you. Well, should I show them now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you you sure. said you had a couple pictures. Yeah, here. Well, so throw this up on the screen there. Well, well, one, one second. Let me, let me. I'll find these, these, these photos. I sent them to you. Yeah, I got them right here. I put them up. Okay. Yeah, oh. So he's been back in the locker room handing out these. Did you notice that the, the, I, I run back the tape? I saw in those glitches that we saw in the commercial, that poster. That's what Aki Man has been passing out. Yeah. This high, this higher brick campaign, this 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 call for righteousness, this call to to right the wrongs that has happened in the W three as of late. Aki Man, as you know, Brick's one of Brick's closest friends. Yeah. And. Oh, that makes sense why he was confident with the Ladrillo. Oh, we got another one right here. Yeah. Oh, the Count and, and, and Grizzly. Everybody's listening. Yeah, all right. All right. Everybody sees the corruptness that Tim Kerr brought here. There's another Here, here's another picture here. I just I just texted Dirty him wall. Well, we never, did, we never did get around to cleaning that. Oh, that the, the, the junior heavyweight division. Is that? T oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, got, it's glitched into the TV and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, hey, they're running. They're Listen, we're taking this very seriously. Hashtag hire brick. Right Hashtag the wrongs. hire brick. Restore the unknown, justice. Unknown. Unknown looking very disappointed that it's on the TV. I think they were watching something. <laughs> Probably. And, uh, I yeah. think you caught him mid shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when I catch people mid shit. It's so. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door, guys. They're comfortable. They don't feel like they should lock the door sometimes. For me, so, not for them. Who who turns the knob without knocking? Oh, I knock see. every time. Every time. If someone was in there, it wouldn't turn. You knock. But, it, <laughs> but if you knock, you just strip them from the thing, the tranquility that they have created. It, it's cigar did cuts. You, that, you know what? We're getting too into detail. Did you, say, <laughs> did you just say tranquility? No, tranquility. Tranquility. Oh, I thought you said tranquility. Nope. Because we got a kitty coming up in the next match. Oh. No. This is a, technically, this is a fight for the fifth Jaguar after impressing oh. so many, uh, 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 so many of the, so much of the office, I should specify, uh, Getting a shot at the fifth ranked junior heavyweight, and that is D 
dim sum as we, as we specified earlier. Jaguar doing it the old-fashioned way, getting the wins, building up, building up a, a, a nice W column. Uh, as of recent, with big wins over one hot Gemini uh, th- this past week, I He's should say. He's a cool guy. He is a cool guy. Holy shit, there goes one hot Gemini. I love that song, my goodness. Jaguar getting the shot here at Dim Sum, sitting at the fifth ranking in the junior heavyweight division. Um, inter- interesting happenings in the junior heavyweight division. We recently had a dropout, but we, I think we're going to cover that later on well, I in the, in have the broadcast. I definitely have on that. But yes, yeah, so what happens, uh, Black Widow has relinquished her top five ranking in the junior heavyweight division, which meant everyone bumped up. I guess she's she's zeroing in on that, uh, on that, that, oh, keeping those tag team championships around uh, her and Beast of Sori's you waist. You speculate what you want. I'm telling you, I got a scoop on this later. Well, 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 the scoop right now, you got to scoop the litter box because Jaguar is coming home heavier. Now. <laughs> With a belly full of wins, I think he does it here tonight. I think we will see Jaguar finally get into the top five rankings of the junior heavyweight division, I think it's all up here for the Sky Cat. G. Everyone's favorite kitty cat. As he stands on the top rope with the greatest of ease. Look at that. Doesn't even look down. Doesn't give a shit. Insanely naturally athletic. We gave Nexus different different tickets, different seats. I wonder if. Sure we did. Nope. 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 He found him. He found him. He found him. He hates him so bad. You think he's just a big fucking troll? Who? Cool. Just to get it out and dim sum. You think he's just trying to get a rise out of him? It's working. Nexus hates dim sum. <laughs> I know. Fight! <laughs> Immediately! To the eyes, the kitty cat eyes. He sees better than regular human beings because he is part cat. That's not true. What the fuck? <laughs> How? Is he bending gravity? Yes. I thought oh you were my aware god! Of this. The offensive onslaught early from the kitty cat. Cats have a completely different set of physics laws. It's true. They're not solid. They're not liquid. There's nope. something in between. They're not gas. They actually invented a state of being just for them. Going to the eyes again, raking that cute kitty cat face. What an asshole. Quit Look, scratching his eyes. You can say what you want. You, you can call Dim some names. I'm telling you, and I tell you every week, he does not care. All of his fucks are gone. And since he stopped caring about what everyone thought of him and if people approved or disapproved of his methods, he has been such a, a such a more dominant force here in the junior heavyweight division. And now is the time for that kind of step up. Oh, he floated into that one with the greatest of ease. Beautiful suplex there, but got oh my god immediately into the 360 standing shooting star press. Dino, it seems like Jaguar can pull out new things each week, and that's just one of the most impressive things about his 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 professional wrestling ability. Exactly, that's what keeps it so exciting. That's what keeps the Slipcat happy. Uh, <laughs> Jaguar uh, is really a fan favorite here amongst the feline <laughs> um, <laughs> demographic. As that kick there, just wonderfully executed. I'm looking forward to the Jellico Press in this matchup. I want to see it. I lose it every time. Or that wonderful drop kick that he sends people to the outside packing. He catches them down. He drop kicks down, Dino. 
His entire body is usually over his competitor. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, what does he got here? Whoa! <laughs> Innovative offense! Almost getting it done. High cross Literally body. Literally waited. Did I, you see him look hard. at us like, hey guys, watch this shit? I don't think Dim Sum knew what was coming. He was thrown off by that, uh, by that car wheel power bomb. One, two. Flat shit. He had him folded up. Ooh. Foot directly to the mush. Right on the kitty cat nose. And dim sum look for a second there to be a grounding him for to hold, yeah. holding on to him for dear <gasps> Oh my god! god. Oh, um, damn! What he a surprise on that, that hood rat! That hood rat! And we didn't see him go for the hood rat clutch in the last match. I was wondering if he had maybe moved away from it. But no, no. He was just making sure people <laughs> forgot about it. And that's not the first time he actually critical Aki Man months ago with the hood rat clutch. <laughs> no, kitty cat, no. <laughs> oh. My god, dim sum. The critical roll up hood rat clutch. The dim dynasty continues. Oh my! No, no! <laughs> Let the celebratory five tier one gifted subs. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Slip. Thank hey, you. everyone, give Slip splash, a big old splash. big boy kiss. <laughs> we love Slip around these parts. I, I, to be fair, everyone should love Slip. Uh, uh, right now, we're, we're getting word that we have our first of two junior heavyweight, uh, excuse me, first of our two eliminators, the junior heavyweights are set up. Nobody returning this time, yeah? No. 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 David Harley. David Harley won, won. yeah. Yep. And yes, then this did. mysterious junior heavyweight dropout of the top five has moved him up to number four. So... Delicious. What are you thinking? Wild. Yeah. Wild how that worked, uh, huh? That is a little, that is a little <laughs> suspicious. You just wait till I drop that st hot, steamy <laughs> scoop on you, big dog. Are you ready to go? I, 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 are they lined up in the They're back? They're lined up. Well, let's go. Junior Heavyweight Eliminator coming up. Ooh, Prince Baharo to kick it off. It's been a while since we've seen him in an Eliminator. Oh man, I better hurry my fish my sandwich. Yuraki is your second entrant to this match. Coming off of a, uh, what some are saying, a disappointing loss to La Masquerade. Almost a learning experience. Uh, class was in session. Yes, class was definitely in session. And now let's hopefully he can apply what he learned on Saturday in this match on Wednesday. It's so not to underestimate, no matter what size or age, of your opponents. Speaking of an opponent, the unknown opponent coming out right now. It's he's making himself known. Always keeping that mystery about him as the unknown. I love his music. Are you crazy on it? Mm-hmm. Crazy on his music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did our screen get tinier? Well, just wait. <gasps> Legend! Oh! I'm so proud of him! Aki Man. Aki Man is here and he is in the junior heavyweight fight. Finding the fight strength to return to competition. He's. Oh, good for him. And he's got a fresh onesie. He does have a fresh uh -huh. onesie. Here we go. Fight. Alright, now, looking for the lock up there. Oh, nice one. Floor over there by Paharo. Goes up with the elbow shot there on the unknown, and now AKI Man firing one back there, one in between the eyebrows under Fajaro. Off into the ropes goes Hiraki, nobody there to pick him up. Ooh. Oh, and collides 
for the unknown, but bounced off into the rolling victory roll. And now pick it up. Assisted powerbomb there by AKI Man and Paharo getting double kicked in the midsection there by AKI Man. Now getting floored there by the unknown, but now lifting knees on the Rocky on Paharo. Hits him with the kick there on AKI Man and now locking up there with an L Jaguar defense there, almost hitting him on the bottom rope. Overhand strike there by the unknown. Hits him with the arm drag onto Paharo, now dragging him into the corner. Off into the ropes there goes Paharo into the corner goes Iraqi but able to kick off the unknown and tries to go for a rolling kick or possibly a capture on an AKI man who gets caught in with a Greco Roman knuckle lock onto Paharo who goes in with a dragon screw onto unknown. Locks up now. Back elbow. Both <laughs> both executions right? differently though. <laughs> now kick to the bit section of Paharo. Paharo backing off very lightly. Overhand strike by the unknown. Hands of the Jaguar defense, but now into the weird naked choke there by Yoraki. Goes in with a spinning Jaguar defense almost there by Paharo. It is strange and new. Mid -legs. And now rolling through with a double wrist lock. Tries to capture in, but a swift, sweeping spinning kick to the back of the head of AKI, or excuse me, to Yoraki by AKI man. With a back suplex there now. Scoop it a slam to the outside. Goes Yoraki. Oh, he got caught. Power bomb. Paharo got caught for the one. Now locking in. With a front face lock, no luck on that one. Drop kick to the chest there by Paharo onto Iraqi. Another strike up there by AKI Man in the unknown, and AKI Man wins that exchange as he whips off Paharo into the ropes, who collides in with Iraqi, both with AKI Man, and tries to go for the lower strike onto the face. It's in the Mexican surfboard stretch. Whoa! Did he, he just ran went past up and him. I don't know! That was but incredible. into the camel clutch by the unknown AKI Man, dragging a bit between the eyebrows. There's a lockup now, throwing the unknown to the outside, rolls through with the schoolboy style, but now that's <laughs> the big after being kicked off by a by Iraqi, and now the orange rag there by uh, unknown on the Paharo, big tiger bomb, one, one count only, lower Manhattan drop, into the key lock. And now power bomb again, as the ground and pound being administered there onto AKI Man by Iraqi, and now oh, AKI Man unleashing his strike force, and now goes for the cover, lateral press, no, not even. It's interesting to see uh, uh, Paharo going for the run as early. The Unknown is one of the better uh, counter wrestlers here, Dino. Absolutely. As he tried to go for it. Oh, he tried to go for it. Oh, Manifesto! He turned it into it! Into a bull stump by the Unknown. <laughs> right, the elbows, but he gets caught mid strike by Paharo. Only for the one count, though, off into the ropes. Colliding in with AKI Man again, who originally sent him off into the Irish whip. Drops the elbow onto the back of the haircut, and now, speaking of which, comes the back of the head of Yuraki. Uh, gets a double axe handle by the unknown, scoop and a slam there, and now deadlift German suplex, one! No, a beautiful bridge, but not strong enough foundation. SMD at gunpoint by Paharo. <laughs> and now, Ooh. big elbow drop, missed with that drop kick by Paharo, this time getting an AKI man, one, only the one count still. Adds him up, he could have a victory in another world. Sweeps out the leg there of the unknown, trying to go for the ground and pound, no, he's trying to choke him out. Pressing oh the man! In. Will the victory roll? But he's in the ropes, and now a uh, European uppercut and an elbow drop hooks the leg. One, one count only. One, one Making count only. Making shoes work. Exactly those co those AKI style kicks to the face of Faharo. Gets caught him with a victory roll. One, one count only. You're rocking now, dragging the unknown off there, but that gets Irish whip by Faharo. Faharo now circling the wagons against Iraqi as they lock up. Spinning Jaguar defense. Down he goes off into the ropes. Unknown just saying, fuck this shit. Goes back into the action. Strikes midsection to the face with a lifting knee to finish it off. Twisting! Run of them by Pahara. Wonderfully executed. Rolls in with that double wrist lock. Asking for the break. But no, he didn't even get the pin attempt. And now a uh, power bomb. Fold. One. Two. Two count only. As AKI Man and, your, and uh, Pahara going for the strike off of the dead center. But now it seems AKI Man is the one left standing as he goes after Yoraki. He throws him into the unknown. The unknown now. Seeing what the hell just happened as he throws in with a double wrist lock there onto AKI Man. What a back, what a back slider with a fold over. And now AKI style kicks into the Mexican surfboard. Dead center of the dub. There's no way he's touching the ropes with that one unless he's got a really impressive pecker. And now putting in with the drop, <laughs> the elbow, in the back of the head. Jet, the German suplex comes into the ropes. He's unleashing those strikes there on AKI Man. And now going into the back with the AKI Man. Just falls backwards onto him. It's Paharo now setting his sights on AKI Man, but getting kicks into the eye sockets for his troubles. And now getting the back of the head as Yoraki opening up on the Paharo. Double lockups. European uppercut. I wish we were the ropes. And now doing the AKI dance. He is still. Aki, man. Street Connor. And now what? spinning around into the pin. One, two. Oh, there's two point like nine. And in the back. Uh, wonderfully executed there by AKI Man. He's able to do it like a like a like an unknown fish out of water. Oh. Drops the leg across the throat, and another one. It's crashing down. It's hurting inside. <laughs> and just simply 
<laughs> Felicio. To dot the I. <laughs> Felicio. Yes, Felicio. Uh, and now strike it off. Lock up there. We have Tiger No, but if I see my step of the unknown as Yuraki gets sent into the corner, and now AKI Man trying to pick his moves, but he is able to get the Flippy Boy onto uh, Poharo. Poharo now getting his heart chopped in by the unknown. Oh, you can't. And now lift it ah, up. Asuri ah, Chukuraka. As a Yuraki now. Oh, getting his brain busted in just the lower half. And now the shut the fuck. That super hook. Heads in. No, the unknown now on the wobbly legs. AKI kicks to the face of Paharo off of the ropes. Big boy Senton drops the elbow and now trying to stretch out the knee. Two, no, not even a two Again, count. In that key lock, Just constantly rolling in that key lock. But AKI man says, "Fuck out of here with that." Heading up to the top, victory roll. One, two, no, one count only. Sweeps out the legs, and now a cross arm breaker, wonderfully just completely transitioned to by the unknown. It's hard to do. I lock it up. No, he's Whoa, the oh and no, he's swinging. Swing. Hadn't seen that in a bit. It's good to see it again. Oof! Dropping your Rocky back of the head first <laughs> into the buckle with that splash to follow up. And now rolls through, holds onto the ankles. One, two, oh, three! Rocky, Rocky is eliminated by Baharo! And now, oh, no. down to three, rolls through, could he get the unknown? One! No! One count only, he's still got a lot of work to do against that man. Now trying it on Ikea, and Ikea Man's trapped him! Two! Ooh. No! That was close. German suplex, he caught the unknown by surprise, but a chop to the cup, oh, SMD! SMD! And now, off into the ropes he goes, hanging onto it, lift off, oh. dropped him under the knee with that K-curve! And saying, Felicio! Felicio! <laughs> As he goes in now with the arm drag reversal, picking up the unknown, Going up ah! the ropes. <laughs> Arm drag take over there on the AKI man throwing Kaharo off of the ropes. So Kaharo now stopping himself. Flower bomb! Folding press. One, two. Ooh. Oh, AKI man comes out of it still fighting. But completely catches a big left hand. Oh! But Kaharo breaks the bridge. Off of the ropes goes the unknown as he hangs on for the second rebound. Trying to capture him into that victory roll once again. Arm dragged to buy him some time and simply just going for the pin two count only it does take energy trying off into the ropes exactly and just trying to catch him off guard as you mentioned arm drag one two oh it's gonna say ain't that about a bitch and now Damn. climb up wheel kick to the back of the head of Paharo. Paharo now getting picked up and getting the once over from the veterans technically suplex <laughs> flex man doing the aki flex Oh, and shit. now into that hook, but no, the unknown stops him. He probably wants to be the one to put away young Paharo. Chote! A few more of those, he will do just that, Dino. And now driving the elbow into the back of the head, flexing again. He is just photogenic tonight. He is feeling the companionship of Ladrillo seeping through his uh, threads. Passed it from one man of the mascara to the next. A lot and of, I mean, up. all mask in this match now. It's true. Yaxi Hay with that big wheel kick and a drop kick to the center of the chest. Locking up now with AKI Man getting thrown into the corner. for Haro now back up to his feet. AKI Man locking up. Man, what is this? No! What did he get? Oh! Sweet cutter! Yoga Shaba Sweet Cutter! Yes! And saying, oh! Go Tay! Picks him up. Ah! Cocker Dropper! And now picking him in, drops him in with the back elbow, but picking him up by the seat of his pants. Off into the corner he goes. European uppercuts for uh, Baharo for his trouble, and now lifting off the knees underneath the rib cage. That's definitely going to cause a little breathing oh. problem. But gets slapped to the back of the skull. Shot to the midsection, never the unknown. Now driving, dragging the AKI man by his teeth. <laughs> oh. and, oh, making him bite his tongue on that one. Oh. Oh, to the back of the head. the head. Super Hawk! Hook on the unknown! Will the unknown make it to the ropes? No, he escapes though. Drive the elbow into the back, thrust kick by the unknown. Off of the ropes, show him with the pen into the unknown for oh, no. and breaks it. And he's paying for it. Oh, drops him. Oh, and a DDT oh, spike. God. They're just going, everybody's just picking oh, their partners. Show Tay again. You can't, you can't, Rainmaker. You can't Rainmaker. Rolls through. 
Tiger, but he's in the ropes with Pajaro. <gasps> and you hold the post and duck the kick. For the one saucy. count. What is this sauce oh, that we're seeing? Big splash, nobody's there. German suplex pulls through. Tiger, no, <gasps> second German with a fallout flat bridge. Two. <laughs> Ow. How? By the AKI man on. Oh, it's just a show. Into the hard drag reversal super hook, get in! That's in! Get and it's out. indeed! Did Pajaro bless his heart for holding on as long as he did? How many Back times he was there. dropped on his head with Germans? And Shote, nice spin out the dodge there by the unknown on the AKI. Oh! <laughs> the bridge, but he's in the ropes, the hand was super hook! Even super hook applied! It is broke! Tries to go for the drop kick as he tried to go for the kick. Speaking so, of, and, uh, ah, trying to dent the nose a little bit. Super That's hook it. That's it. In. Aki it's man. over. Oh what a comeback! God. Doing it for Ladrillo Brickhouse. Hashtag higher brick. Absolutely for the trend. Look at everyone. This is Nexus says Akira system. So. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Slip so says hell yeah, Aki, Congrats on getting to lose on Saturday. Oh man, ninety-seven percent match evaluation. Twenty-eight minutes, seventeen seconds. Your Rocky gone first legend. I know you just came back from. From uh, your, your run there, splash, splash. 16 minutes, 51 seconds, Japanese leg roll clutch. Oh boy, Jeremy with the gifted five tier one subs. Thank you very much. Everyone give him a uh, splash, a, a, splash. a nice thank you that got gifted that. That is five of them bad boys. Uh, that is uh, ramping off of uh, subto uh, <laughs> September. Fine. I said September again. I'm splash, splash. Prince Baharo gone next. 26 minutes, 51 seconds. That Aki superhook, the STF, and unknown following shortly after. 28 minutes, 17 seconds. Splash, Again splash. with the superhook. Aki man had a plan tonight, and he executed it perfectly. Thank you very much, Dino, for that. Oof. Oh, Splash, Aki splash. man's got new a new drive. His a new, nude? Oh, a new no. <laughs> he no, he does not have nude. I'm sorry, Aki man. He has a new drive and hey. a new goal, a new fire. A in, in, in his belly. He's he he's got a point. He's got a point he's got a to purpose. prove. And he is he's throwing himself into competition, into wrestling, into into work. And, and pushing this campaign to get his friend his job back to, to right the injustices in the W3, but also to, to remind everyone that he is a great competitor himself and he's he's throwing himself into what he does best to get past the humiliation suffered at the hands of Tim Kerr and his turns, who, as you said, I just got back. I went to the back to try and get a glimpse to see, oh, yeah, well, we, we saw the Joe Bruisers coming back tonight. I was trying. I was trying to get a glimpse, trying to see who his opponent's gonna be. And Tim's got so much security down there. I swear, the guy's not in charge anymore, and I don't know how he still has calls like that. I mean, why is he allowed to have security? I can't even get a peek. You gotta think that he had. I don't know. I mean, I, I can think of a call. Getting this next match uh, coming up here. It's going to be. I don't want to say re-debut, but it feels like that at this point. Joe Bruiser is up next. He is up this next match. Uh, we're getting again. You had mentioned that hey, like I didn't see who he was. He was uh, he was squared up against uh, coming into this match, but I he, he said it's it's the most it, it like when you, Brikowski was on a streak when when Joe Bruiser put him out. He said it's the most competent competition he's had. Competent competition. The hardest competition that he's had here so far in W3. I don't know what that means. Well, but. surely it's not any of the guys in the top five. They definitely have their own... Things to worry about. But. Someone like Alibaba? I mean, that is a way to 
to come back tend, in here. He does yeah. tend to welcome people in <laughs> with a fireball to the face. The Saladin's in the Eliminator. Saladin's in the Eliminator. You could think maybe what about Me- Mega, Mega Meat? Meat? That'd be terrifying. Especially if Dr. Frank's been showing him some new things. Okay. No. No. We have your match. Uh, Joe Bruiser taking on Barry Cade. Um, it's not what I was expecting when, when they explained who oh, he's going to be facing. And the whole turd patrol in tow. There's a lot of them. Whatever. Um, Play the music, truck. Uh, yeah, you're, yep. you're not going to weigh in on this one, Legend? Nope. Do you know, do you care to I weigh in? you know my feelings you know on fucking this. fucking well what's going to happen. They're feeding this poor son of a bitch to the lions. So, like, to even say that we hope he wins, I just hope the guy's able to eat with his fucking teeth by the end of the night. That's it. Well, like, here he, here he is. He's... I mean, let's not take away from Barricade. The Buffalo Barricade, he is a uh, a towering individual. One of W3's biggest... We're not biggest... taking anything away from him, Big Dog. It's just he's about to face... He's, he's about to face a man who literally just... He doesn't even eat, breathe, or sleep. He just fucking trains to kill. This and man right here. He's basically the Terminator. The what? The, um, kill bot. Nice. Well, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love Killbot to. Uh, it's one of the greatest cinematic masterpieces of all time. Saint, Saint Peter's Night. So. <laughs> he's already calling his shot. He said over, or he's calling himself over, which is not not true. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Bruce. Yeah, wait. Oh, what man. Are you, what are you mentioning, Bruce? <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out for him. You know damn well how it's going to work oh out. Oh, my God. You see? And he picks him right back up just so he can spar with him. That's that's really what it is. This is just a spar feeding. This is not a, a an equally oh. lined up match. And look, he had it, but he just doesn't have the conditioning. That this gun for hire has. I mean... Oh, whoa! A suplex! Oh, a stall has he been training? There. Has he been training as a wrestler? I'm sure he, he watches a tape or two. He, uh... Oh! And there my it is. God. There it is! There it is! Couldn't even look the son of a bitch in the eye when he turned out his lights. He just straight up blindsided him. In two minutes, three seconds. But I think we'll just flat flatten it out and just say two minutes. Because if you tell him he was three seconds past, he'll probably punch you in the jaw. I'm going to say this. Uh, Brokowski lasted longer than Barry Kate. I'm just pointing out things. He lasts longer than most people. That's very true. That's all I've heard. He went 14 rounds with Tim's wife. <laughs> Whole legend, you okay? You okay? You know. You okay? <laughs> um, What's the matter? What's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm horrified <laughs> at what we just witnessed in this ring. That that wasn't that wasn't a competitive match, Lesh. <laughs> Not even a match. You don't say. N- no, I think this was all a ruse. I think it was a joke to Tim Kurt. I'm just now figuring this out. You know what else is a joke to Tim Curd? You want to know that scoop I was talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Is, is it a bad scoop? No, it's what I was talking about where I had uh, I had the info on why Widow dropped out of the top five. We were wondering about that and speculating about that earlier.
let's go ahead and... Uh, you told me, big dog, because that looked a lot to me like Widow was taking a payoff to it, drop it, that spot, which it, would the, keep David Harley in the top five. I mean... You tell let's, me! Let's... Let's go back to the start of W3 when Widow won the tournament and became the first ever junior heavyweight champion of W3. Uh, she made no bones about it that she had plans to sell the W3 junior heavyweight champion. She's about her paper. She's all about that gua. Um, I'm not saying it's out of character I for her. thought that maybe things have changed. Seems like there's still a little bit of, of 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 that original Black Widow deep down in there. I, I I can't help but speculate. What was the payoff? You got look. I can't help but wonder. You you got to think that Tim's saving money because you know he, he might be getting cleaned out here soon. We don't know. Ninety nine percent of people would take out. Would would take a payout from what I assume was at least no no fifty thousand. I feel like you're getting the wrong idea here, least. big dog. I'm not blaming her for taking the payout. Make your money. <laughs> I'm saying Tim is still calling the shots. Tim is keeping his boy in the top five. Man, it's see like. Tim is up to some shit. Tim just had a kid knocked out in two minutes. Barry Kay. his goon. May he, may his legacy live on. May he rest in peace. No, no, he's alive. Oh, good. We saw him get up, but I mean, like, someone needs to watch him so he doesn't fall asleep tonight. Well. I assume that's going to be up to Jerry Kaplowitz and Robbie Jockers, but that's just me. Um, Or maybe our doctor, you know, Dr. Frank. That's terrifying to think of. I've had concussions. I don't want Dr. Frank. Looking cool. He's a professional. He's a very good doctor. Yeah, and Mega Meat seconding him now. He's not licensed. Mm. That's absurd. We we got to move on. And, and and speaking of Black Widow, she is scheduled to compete right now. Up next, tag team action. Uh, can't specify this enough. Not for the tag team championships. You will be seeing Critical Friendship, uh, one of our newest tag teams here, taking on the Sisters of Vengeance, Black Widow and B. Sasori. Uh, she's going to be laughing her way to the bank, but 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 all of her joy and comedic, uh, com- comedic intentions and values might get spoiled here by Critical Friendship if they can pick up a victory. She's got to keep her head in the game can't be focusing on what she's going to spend that cool paycheck on well and on that note maybe selling her position in the top five of the junior heavyweight division was the right idea because that allows her to turn her entire focus into defending those tag team championships with her partner beast Sasori. i spoke on that before i knew that there was a payout and now it seems like a not it, it, it seems like a win-win to me for black widow um, those legend cams are going to get us in trouble. Uh, they're going to get you in trouble. I do not endorse legend cams whatsoever. I don't Sorry. agree with them. Critical. Critical friendship has, has an opportunity here of a lifetime, of a career, to prove themselves against the best tag team. They have the titles. They are the best, ta- the, the best tag team going right now. You like their odds? Like, like, what, like what do you think about this one? Well, Critical Friendship have have made several uh, arguments for uh, against betting against them. In we we sometimes see a tag teams to take a little bit of time, take take a little bit uh, of of extra getting their footing. Uh huh. It takes a while in the division, it takes especially a while. with the division being as competitive as it is. We've set we, both um not both, both a couple of the matches that we've seen Critical Friendship take part in. We thought it was going to go the other way, and they and they caused the upset. They have the upset over te- uh, technical difficulties, who is in a very who's an incredibly established team 
in the tag division and won their last two matches, um, as we talked about earlier, seamless, flawless yes. tag team work between the two of them. We saw them defeat, I we believe, the uh, incredible, uh, we're talking about upset victories, but against Count and Grizz Lee. Yes. A, a critical friendship is not one to... That's just, a big one. <laughs> just uh, sit back and wait their turn. They're taking their turn. And... Beast and Widow, while this is not a tag team championship match, all of Lisa are, are coming in here to, to, uh, to smack them back down in their place. Yes. Well, uh, I, I can't say I like their chances in this one. They're, they're up, against, uh, up against the best tag team, as I pointed out earlier. But damn, if they did win here, this, this has to get them something. Maybe a title shot? I don't know. I don't know what the front office is thinking. There's a lot of shit going on in the front office that are, that's uh, quite strange. But Dino, do you care to weigh in on this? Do you think they have what it takes to beat the tag it's team true. champions in, 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 in non-title champ in non-title action, I should specify. Well, that's the unpredictability of it. I mean, uh, champions could take it easy on the non-title matches, or they want to be actually respectful of the sport and try their damnedest to even say, I, I am a winner, even when my gold isn't on the line. So it, uh, it's very unpredictable. And I find that to be the fun part of this match. I don't know who's going to win. I don't know who's going to lose. I just want to see a good match from both these com uh, teams of competitors. Oh, I think you're going to get that uh, and more with this one. Critical Friendship on the upswing. Paco Loco, Black Belt taking on Black Widow and Beast Sasori non-title action in the tag team division. Oh, here we go! No, I don't like pudding. Oh, he clearly doesn't like pudding. Black Parker. <laughs> and you know he takes the long way to the buckle. Oh, 100%. Just the other extra booing. He, yeah, he's got one to get in. Someone who knows about taking their time and making their moment in an entrance. Black Widow is going to let us all know who looks like a champion here. Wearing that gold around her waist, one half of the tag team champions shortly followed by the other half, and she takes her damn good. She makes time. an entrance. Yeah. She knows how to do it. Can't help but specify how much more richer is that. Tag team that we're seeing. She can get a right replica there. of the tag belt made now. Oh wow! And more, a lot more, I bet. Two. <laughs> one for one for Beast of Sword. Suplex off the rip there. Maybe trying to isolate Black Widow. That might be the best bet here. That being said, uh, she is unpredictable and a complete package in that ring she is incredible one of the most athletically gifted one of the mo one of the sharpest minds in professional wrestling even if she's a little bit banana wonky. pants yes banana pants fits perfectly i was gonna go wow. with wonky but that's a bunny special <laughs> <laughs> Tagging out to be Sasori here. Oh, elevated DDT, and then immediately uh, a, uh, a uh, head scissors there. Oh, and she is zero oh, for shot. one. <laughs> and and Baka Loco is zero for one. One for one. Stopping the back of the thigh. She has large thighs. I have to point that out. I I can't I can't not point that out. Big. 
Look at them thighs. You're checking out Dick Ken's back at last no, show. You're checking and, and out now I'm checking out Beast of Sword. Hey. Damn. Thirsty baby. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, and, oh. Lo and look at the power driven from those. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little thirsty. I can kind of dig Beast. Not going to win that one. That. I'm tacking out to Widow here. Double drop kick. Paco is now two for one. Scoop in a slum. Stop short in your tracks there. The focus is definitely there on Widow. She, well, she does still throw those drop Ooh. kicks kind of dangerously. Going for the cover after that run off the top using that just awkward agility that's a good way of pointing it she uh <laughs> explain yeah you, uh, you really don't know what's coming with widow it could be a drop kick it's likely going to be a drop kick which you can avoid but other than that she throws things at you that you're just not expecting and 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 in rather kamikaze kind of form as the well. The speed and, 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 and the quickness that she can snap off certain offensive and techniques. And sacrificing her own safety. Exactly, is impressive. That's what I mean by awkward agility. Kamikaze agility. Dragging her to the center of the ring. Going for a Boston Crab there, just powering out. What did I tell you about those legs? Power. She drives all over power right from those thighs. Legend, I kind of have the hots for Beast of Sword. I see that. <laughs> All right, stay professional, Drew. Oh, damn. Yeah, there was someone to catch on that. Leg locks all the hell. How could you not? I mean, right. I mean how can you not stay professional? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's true. true. Unprofessional big dog. All right, critical friendship. Ooh. Have Widow isolated right now, but she fights her way out, but does not go for that tag. She gets a little tunnel vision. Yes. We've seen that time and time again. Ooh. Now, Dino, that right there, the cross face uh, that he just locked in on her, she is probably the best suited other than Jaguar for submission maneuvers like that. She is very, very pliable, very bendable. Yeah. It's going to help her out in that situation. Is she aluminum? Aluminium. Aluminium. Oh, okay. There. And now he's twisting up the legs of Paco Loco. Oh boy, he's looking to pick her up. Pile driver trying to change her hairstyle. Do That's that. Black Belt dragging her away. Works. Single leg crab. I wonder what get, would give way before uh, one another. Beast of Sori's hair or just the canvas and or wrestling ring? Probably say the canvas. Yeah, I'd take bets on that. Oh man, going up top, knee drop. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Backing her to a corner, tag out to Widow. He's in the wrong part of town, able to sneak away from it. Ooh, and uh, the oh. impressive agility, just one two stepping up to the top like that. I don't think she had much in mind there. Now, kiss her. Yeah, and she's gonna take that to heart, as you see. Uh, 0 for 3, I think, at this point. She'll get it. You just give her time. It's just part of the risk of doing a drop kick like that. Lucha yeah. style is what we used to call it. Go under the cover early. No, one. Oh, they are just disrespecting her <laughs> with drop kicks. You'll love to see this, the, the synchronicity of it, though. Both, both uh, tag partners... Doing the same move. Scoop slam there by Paco. Oh man, Moonsault maybe? No, a flying body press right to the back. Not looks to take advantage of it. What's going on? The illegal competitors. Oh my god! Oh, 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 they can't. They, they went out of frame, holy shit. Look at that pin. Not many people have the flexibility to, to pin their arms underneath an opponent like that and still bridge. It's she really She landed impressive. the drop kick. One for... 
Oh, she's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's feeling you it. Feel it. She's girl. feeling it. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, fuck your head. <laughs> fuck your head. Says Baco. <laughs> Bot felt so what? super what? supportive what? of his partner. He sounds like he's gonna Ralph. That was always an interesting thing for to throw up Ralph. Yeah. <gasps> Leg drop! And it was a doozy. She landed rough on that one, but how much damage did it do to Black Belt? Not enough to incapacitate him. Come for the cover here. Oh man, I don't know if Widow would have made it in time if Base hadn't kicked <sighs> out. She just ran into it. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Oh. And she's making him face his fucking partner. <laughs> the intimidation tactics of Beast Asori are something to be studied and followed. Because let me tell you, she straight up made a man who was being stretched completely beyond boundaries by her mm. look at his partner. And now double stomping with all of her weight down on him. She made him watch. <laughs> made me watch. <laughs> Damn. Arm drag there. Again with a submission hold here. Yeah. And Widow is looking for... Oh, this could be it. That cross face was... Nah. <laughs> Super... Oh, oh Super she went for the roll up. Capture him. Oh, no. Super big oh, boy. No. Oh, no. Big 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 boy. And then right into it again. He seems to have a plan here. Working over that back. And beautiful snap Rana from Black Belt on, on Beast to keep her distracted. Ooh, another drop kick lands. <gasps> super, oh, big super big boy! Big boy. Pulling her out. That, that could be it. Oh my god. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Rolls through. One. Defense. Two. Two point nine on both sides. Do you see the Beast turned and saw her have the pin locked oh. in and immediately grab Black Belt? Oh! oh miscommunication! Oh, I scooped the Rain Mata! That is a huge mistake. Yeah, and allowed Widow to get the tag. Reversal. Oh my god, she is gonna she never hear the end of that it. one. That was gonna be the one. She that was gonna was hit gonna that be one. The one. Oh, beautiful. He had her absolutely that, stacked, you know. That was a clean tuck. And now Black Belt and Beast going strike for strike. Mm. But she's back up. Lariat right to the face. Yeah, that was forearm directly to the chin, Dino. Fucking ow. Beautiful rolling soul, but to the, really to the middle of the back. Snapping back the whiplash that that can cause is dangerous. Power bomb uh, combo. Power bomb. Now black belt. Ooh. <laughs> Striking away. Goes with that stretch. Oh, saving. Nice save. That was really, really uh, beautiful, actually. Able oh, to shit. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got up at the last second. The last second she dodged that big boy. She still could be in trouble here. She needs to make the tag. She, does. she needs to get Beast of Sori in this ring. She's eaten one already. I don't think I don't think two. We've seen people get knocked out from that big boy Senton. She had an offensive uh, attack right there. And now again backpedaling. Paco Loco taking a step back. Oh <laughs> elevated I DDT. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And she just stepped on him. She didn't stomp on him. She fucking stepped on him. What a fold. One, two, count only. Ooh. Another one. She almost lost him behind one, her. Three. Lisa Sori does it again. And while Black Widow had uh, had Black Belt tied up, Beast planted Paco Loco. And our tag team champions saying, not so fast, boys. And that being said, though, Critical Good Friendship job. showed out in this one. Uh, 100% they did. Fantastic isolation of Black yes. Widow tonight. 
Divine Fist forty two fifty six. Thanks for the follow. We I think the real turning it. point being that Welcome. that one little miscommunication where Black Belt pulled or pulled Black Widow out of the way of the big boy sent on. And, and and on top of that, Widow having the wherewithal to move deep into the match from one of those big boy sent on. One of those had landed. I think this goes the other way. Wow. I mean, they were very competent. Maybe Black Widow's mind wasn't on it, but that would be me. That would be me selling I don't think so. critical friendships short, almost sort, but uh, selling them short. They came to play tonight, and they were in there with the best tag team going today. They haven't stopped. No, no not at all. That's been the whole thing since 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 they did they uh, decided to start tagging together, going through technical difficulties, going through Count and Grizzly, which I believe were called Type O's Negative. Type O's Negative. That is a new one. Haven't heard that one. Wait, yes, I have. I saw that rounding about. That's interesting. That's an interesting name. I don't... Are we going with right. Type O's Negative? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was put to a vote. <laughs> a little <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't remember where I was going with that, but critical friendship. I mean, we had to we had to expand the tag team rankings to a, to a top five of their own because of how explosive the tag team division has gotten. And both the Chi Dynasty and critical friendship, I believe, are filled out those four and five spots. And and this is a, like a heavily competitive division, and them being an, our newest tag team. And to uh, to have ranked that quickly, they are not kidding around here. They're showing up and not they are the making slightest. people pay attention. Speaking of making people pay attention, we will be having a uh, a a uh, interesting heavyweight eliminator coming up next. Your second Saladin eliminator, like yep, him. Saladin will be returning after unsuccessfully God. challenging the God, fifth. No. Oh boy! I'll be right back. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to uh, here shortly as well. What did well. he have to prove? I don't even know. Well, um, I don't know. He went sixty. He went sixty. He went Broadway, and then as they we went said more. in the pre-show, Alibaba even offered to take his place. Here tonight in in the eliminator, but Saladin is just just a, just nope. a stickler for tradition, and and refused. It, he said he's he's seeing this through, even if it kills him. <laughs> Wonder what three uh what three are going to be joining Saladin here for, for this uh, eliminator uh. Yeah, sure. I I have to. Something is happening. I don't have what to. What the hell? Bathroom. Apparently, Drew short circuits when he has to pee, so. <clears throat> You're stuck with me now, chat. So. Uh, so, Saladin is the only one that we know is returning into the, into the Eliminator, and God. Help us all if they go another 60-minute Broadway on this damn Eliminator. Honestly, sometimes I question if this fifth spot is really worth the, 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 the kind of punishment they go through in these Battle Royals. And, and, and to go, like, an hour? Are you insane? I don't know. That seemed a lot for me, but, uh, but you know, the legend, the legend believes in getting shit done as quickly and efficiently as possible. Shit, that's a phrasing. And, um... <laughs> what, I, I, well, I came in and walked in on a phrasing. Yeah. yeah. The, oh, no. The, uh, oh, no. Thank God. Hey, no. guys. Hey, everybody. Everybody's oh, back. I, uh, do, do we no, do we have no. the guys lined up in the back? Saladin oh, is facing three rings. Are you okay, Dino? Not calling this. No. We, no. Got, we gotta be professional, man. That. I'm here for you. Oh uh, God. The truck's telling me to go ahead and send it to the ring. All right, let's 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 go and get into it. Uh. 
Saladin returning after an unsuccessful attempt at getting into that top five spot. Weirdly enough, we were looking at Saladin's win-loss record. Interesting wins here and there. A win over blood, uh, bad blood. No, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, this is gonna be fun. One half of type O's negative. We were just talking about him. Grizzly coming out here, chains and all. Get your Oses out in the chat. Os, 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 Os. Os, 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 This could be one of two people. Oh, it's the sadistic one himself. Hutch Tekka answering the call. Oh, shit. So all the fun that was had last week. Imagine, okay, you remember how I said, wow, the top five is stacked and it has all these different types of wrestlers. Add Bunch Tekka. No. 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 Fuck yes. Off. Do you know what if these two were the last ones again? I'm going to take a sabbatical. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait, no. no. He didn't win. He's not returning. He's and not he doesn't re get an automatic return. This Oh my god. There's strings being pulled here. This is Tim getting his boys. It, it reeks of cheese it here. Stinks. Strings being Not pulled. Not cheese, curds. It reeks of turds. Uh, uh, I was gonna say string cheese. <laughs> Good God, help us! <laughs> I'm proud of myself, Chad. You're just. <laughs> String cheese being pulled here at the seams. Now, God, <laughs> breaking through the eyes there, Grizzly. We're gonna punch Tekken now, thrusting him down. Just a throw thrust there by Saladin on the trucker, off of the ropes, hanging on to it. Test of strength there by Grizzly, clobbering down Saladin, and now punch to the nose there by <laughs> Punch Tekken, and already oh. with a forking to the back of the neck. Slam down with a minute. full Nelson shot on the Punch Tekka scoop and a slam there onto Grizzly, who's now the first to be bloodied in this matchup. Oh my god, and already? I, I looked yeah, up for a second. With a fork. That's what happens. Now Knife Edge chop out of the bloody chest of Grizzly, using the assistance of Saladin with a double back suplex. And now headbutt there by Punch Tekka, trying to reopen that wound a little bit more, a little bit longer, a little bit louder now. Working over there, stomping to the back of the head of Tucker. Popping to the back now, picking him up by the tights. Shot to the midsection there, <laughs> running into there by Saladin onto Punch Tekka, and now off into the ropes. Hangs on to it, because fuck going around twice, says Saladin. He's ran around. the ropes again. <laughs> Why? He snatched him. And now by Grizzly onto Tucker. <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. Is he the strongest oh, human being? Fucking head first into the opposing turnbuckle, drop kick to the knees. Now Punch Tekka, I'm starting to open up knees. his arsenal. Working over the single leg there onto Grizzly. Grizzly now trying to sign his name with his forehead on the white canvas. Oh, oh, what a powerbomb turn there by Saladin. We don't really see that often. No, I mean, he's got a lot of air in his lungs at the moment. Lands on his... What the fuck is happening? He landed on his feet. Okay. Nightcatch <laughs> chop off oh. there. In the Canadian backbreaker by Grizzly onto uh, Tucker. <laughs> nice cook. Shot to the uh, little punch Tekka. Oh god, oh god. Is being thrown there. Tucker just unleashing on the bloody Grizzly. One, one count only. And, punch and now Saladin just simply choking Punch Tekka. Oh, a fucking pump handle backbreaker there by, by Oh Tucker. my god. And going for it again, throwing Saladin into the opposing turnbuckle. Throat thrust, a plenty, leg drop, big one across the chest of Punch Tekka for the one count on the Saladin's attempt 
Off into the corner, there goes Tucker. Oh, kicking him right in the ass. Grizzly. Grizzly is taking the most punishment out of anybody in this contest. He's normally fine with that, Dino. Falling most power slam. Are. One, two, two fuck off. Nice fuck off stunner there by Tucker. He goes in, working over the leg of Saladin. Now working over the leg of Punch Tekka. Big back suplex into his own blood is Grizzly. Throwing Saladin, Ooh. rock kick to the side. And now a scoop and a slam as he's biting the forehead he's of Grizzly. Me. Double axe handle to Tucker. Now thrusting headbutts. But Punch Tekka gives one of his own and picks up Tucker. So Grizzly, right oh. And headbutt shooting it right onto Saladin, who just falls on top of Tucker with the one count. And now oh blazing up. Oh no, Grizzly! Tasted the turnbuckle! <laughs> Dude, Punch Tekka's a, a fucking lunatic. He is. He's wanted to make sure that all oh, these these well these men are bigger than him. Yes. Like, that's straight up. The man has to look up just to ask them what time it is. And now, Punch Tekka is really getting the ones over there by Tucker. But he still hangs on. I'm rooting for him because he's the shortest. But I mean, what good is that going to do when he just gets the shit knocked out of him? But that's the thing. He's the... used to getting the shit knocked out of him. We just saw him go through war with the guys with the likes of Hannibal and Bolt Jameson. He feeds off of that. And he's definitely eating those stomps then as the back of the torture rack by Grizzly. Oh and now taking <laughs> every single person has tasted it. the way station. Ah, the fuck off stunner right there. You got only. Ah. Now biting the forehead once again at Grizzly, the referee administering the slow fucking count. Thrusting headbutt onto Punch Tekka there by Tucker. And again, Saladin sinking his teeth into the floor. Ah! Yeah, elevation. That chicken wing Tekka. DDT. Hammerlock oh. DDT, whatever you want to call it. That is vicious. Speaking of vicious. Yeah. Saladin <laughs> getting gassed up from all that fucking eating. Rolls up, scoop slam with authority on that one. Drops the elbow onto the back and a double axe oh, handle and right the away the in of Grizzly. Oh my god! <laughs> the greatest of ease on that one. He is one of the stronger competitors here in W3. Oh my god! Caught him Short on you know, that that gear down lariat by Matt Tucker fixing the jeans. That's the signal. He's looking to put him away. Full Nelson slam down goes Grizzly as Punch Tekka spills to the outside courtesy of Saladin. Whoa! Larry had just taken down the Tucker Trucker. I'm honestly surprised he didn't bring a weapon back in with him. Playing the part of the count was he on that? Playing hit butt on that one, drops him under the knee. Up into the ropes, collides in with Saladin. Drops him under the knee, scoop and a slam. Whoa! And the torture rack on the Matt Tucker. And Saladin stupidly saves him because oh. he just until he finished him off. Back suplex there. Grizz has just had just been gushing blood for almost 15 minutes now. So he's he's definitely good. showing signs of fatigue. Hopefully he's not feeling cold. I think he's yeah. used to it, Dino. He's up there in the Yukon. Oh, he's awesome. And up to the top. Oh! Yes, I mean, he's on the fucking top! Grizz right on the Saladin! So Cover and that man! Still standing. How is he off Grid's knee off the top, Dino? Well, he did have some time. Somebody picked him up right after. And Tucker <laughs> unleashing the punches on Punch Tekka and Saladin further biting, probably popping a blood vessel with his mouth like a gushers. Oh! <laughs> one, two, two point nine. Tucker is almost out of this contest. Running Lariat there, that convoy. Ooh. Now dropping him off in Lower Manhattan, I know, huh? And now, <laughs> driving the head <laughs> into Tucker. Sandwiched Lariat by Saladina yeah. Punch Tech. Delicious. Across there on a Matt Tucker. And now, belly to belly by Tucker. Into the torture rack by the bloody Grizzly. Punch Tech. What a on horrifying for sight. Dodges that thrust kick, falling slam. Not enough energy to put him toes over eyebrows. And there's that convoy lariat once again. Oh! <laughs> John to the nards, but gets a lariat to the face for his trouble. 
as Grizzly Austin getting the crowd pumped up, but that might have taken more energy out of him. Drops him off in Lower Manhattan, off into the ropes, goes Punch Tech colliding with Saladin. And now Matt Tucker looking to pick up Saladin's pieces. But a double kick to the midsection oh! there, but a the back of the head by Saladin on the Grizzly, who's lost a lot of a blood. A lot of blood. Kick to the midsection. Throat thrust there by Saladin. Who throat thrust on the Matt Tucker? Matt Tucker's fucking shaking it off. It's a face pressure there by Punch Tekka. And now biting the face of Matt Tucker. Who is now busted open. That's two bloody bearded bastards in this match. Clobber down. And throw in the pose. You better be careful. He's going to waste more air. Shot to the midsection now. Working on Punch Tekka. He's looking to go for three for three. And there it is right there. Biting the skull. Get and Punch Tekka's got oh, the everyone. Juices flowing here in W3. That's disgusting. And now off into the corner goes Punch Decca. It's in. Oh, no, said Slam. Dead center, but Boo oh! back up. What a high angle <laughs> slam there by Matt Bunker. Frost kick out of Punch Decca. Goes for the pin. One, two, 2.9. Saladin still in the fight. Scooping a slam now. Oh, I thought Grizzly was going to go for that Grizz knee. No. <laughs> and poses off against Matt Tucker. Puts him in with a torture rack. And now everybody's fatigued. Most from blood loss. Saladin just from salt. Lob <laughs> <laughs> some of the elbow right in the dead center of the dub and striking the back of the neck of Grizzly with that fork. Kitchen sink applied to the guts of, of Punch Tech and courtesy of Matt Tucker. And that oh elevated DDT! And the little ladies! Yes! One, Come two, on. yes. three! Punch Tekka has eliminated Matt Tucker. We will not see him go 60. I tried his luck at Grizzly. Grizzly just said fuck out of my face. Back elbow there on the Saladin. So what did you see on PP Fork? PP Fork. And now uh. fighting the stall of fucking Punch Tekka again. DDT spiking, leaving a big splatter. In that corner, oh, face, face crusher. crusher. Oh no! Oh no! Into the opposite turnbuckle, staining the middle with you the can't. crimson. Oh, look, the crimson look. signature. I can't help but be impressed with Punch Tekka. The fact that it, in 24 minutes into a match, he can pick up someone the size of Saladin and run across 20 a 20 foot four ring, 24 foot ring is insane, Dino. Yes, it is. At 25.7 milliseconds. Oh, he eliminated Saladin! Oh my god. Punch Chega has the chance. And now picking him up. <gasps> We're gonna Whoa, punch him down. He just needs to roll over. He just needs to go for the cover. One, two. Oh, Grizzly. And down to these two. A grizz, Grizzly <gasps> has definitely. Going for the knee. Oh, he's going for oh. the knee. Oh. Oh. Escapes it and is able to chop down the big man. Drops oh. the elbow now. Trying and to... he's gasping for air. <gasps> spine splitter! Oh, that spine yeah. splitter! Look at the blood pour out! <laughs> grizz. Lee, Os is in the chat. Spine splitter. <laughs> I know so many people in the chat that are happy. I'm happy. Delter. Holy shit, dude, Delta. One hundred percent. Damn, Grizzly. Matt Tucker. Uh, Twenty-two minutes, forty seconds. There, knocked out with that pinfall. Saladin, fucking, thank God. Twenty-five minutes, eleven seconds, and then at twenty-seven minutes, seven seconds, Punch Tekka falls to the spine splitter. Uh, of course, those previous eliminations, all from the hands of Punch Tekka. He's definitely uh, he's proven himself to be a uh, quite a, quite a little force on his own. Absolutely, and you know what? I, I'm going to venture to to suggest that such a match, that, that 27 minutes of, of violence, 27 minutes of blood, 27 minutes of just punching the crap out of each other, that might be what Punch Tekka really needed. Uh, it's nice to see him doing something that doesn't involve his obsession with Hannibal. I... 
I want to believe that he can move past that because he really is. Like, if I don't know what this chip on his shoulder. No one was questioning his his importance to deathmatch wrestling just because Hannibal happened to win the the, the, the Great American Thrash yeah, tournament. Yeah, but you know but damn he well. he fixated but, mm-hmm. on that. And, and I just, I would like to see him return to the kind of top-tier deathmatch, the, the violence, that the, the, the finesse that he brings in that style of match. I want to see him return to the ring instead of, instead of chasing this, I, I don't, I mean, you could, you could say he's just dragon. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I I can't. I'm having trouble getting past just what we saw. I want to how out competent the man who was bleeding for 26 minutes and exactly. six seconds comes out on top. Exactly. Congratulations, Grizzly. Easily his biggest win of his career thus far in W3. I will go ahead and say it. Grizzly proved himself. He was in there with some of the best, and he got it done in the manliest fucking way possible bleeding like you said from basically the opening bell and you've heard people thinking in their heads who's number five who's number five you're in the with the whisperings in the crowd right now as it stands and 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 (laughs) seeing how that how there's versus execution how there's no how there's no no match uh with either shogun or executioner at the four and fifth he great it's looking as if it will be for for a certainty, Grizzly and Executioner this weekend. That's a big boy match. That is going to be a fun little uh, scrap, as people call it. Speaking of fun little scraps, oh boy, a match that was set up from a from ch- a chilling promo that we received last week, last show. That came about the fact uh, of what happened going into Blood and Steel, where Sumo Joe attacked Prickly Pete in the back to get to Major Tom and awoken that dark side that Prickly Pete is known for. Pete saying that he might have been going soft, which is horrifying to think of, but now the real Prickly Pete is, re- is set to emerge and he made a challenge to Sumo Joe. He did make a challenge to Sumo Cho. And that's being answered tonight. Right there, you're seeing it. Prickly Pete, Sumo Cho singles competition. A lot on the mind of Prickly Pete, and a lot of it is just driven by absolute violence. Dino, I know you're a Pete guy. We talked you know, about this earlier. Pete he, you are the Pete guy. We talked about this earlier. Joe is a force of nature. It, it, take anything away from him. You can take you can take the fact that he is a unpleasant person to be around. He uh, a lot of people have described him described him as just straight up an asshole, a, a a a prima donna, whatever you want to call him. What you cannot what you cannot call him is a loser. Joe is. One of the most dangerous, one of the best, and, and and one of the most prolific heavyweights in the game today. But he pissed off the wrong person. I don't question. I I, I I I don't. I don't know if he wanted this. And, and and do you think that he's going in here? You think he's going in here a hundred percent in the mindset of of of. of of winning this match at all costs because you know Pete's there. You know Pete's there. Is Joe there tonight? I'm. A, I want Pete to win. I want Pete to. Uh, I mean, Joe got a taste, just a tiny taste, of the consequences of his actions, and that is from a man like Prickly Pete, a man who is not all there, uh, but can go a little further with being not being there at all. Yes. Well, as Prickly Pete, he is... He was once a complete man, and I'm not just talking about his eye. I'm talking about 
everything. The man started off with hopes and dreams of becoming a professional wrestler, becoming a star, becoming a name. And as time went on, he further proved himself, even when nobody asked him to, when, even when nobody challenged him to. He felt it was the need to put his body on the line, to put everything on at risk. And it felt like he was complete in his final form. But even then, when Joe left him for dead, because let's just call it what it is. He left the man for dead in yes. the hallway. yes. He, it's like it's like he wants to reach his final form, and this might be the, the one tonight against yeah. a man like Sumo Joe. This could push him to that point. This isn't a hardcore match. That being said, Prickly Pete has no problem getting things done inside the ring without weapons, but he is in there with the Ulan Batar Usurper. I don't like his chances in a wrestling match, but I damn sure like his chances in a fight, and this will break down into a fight. Legend, do you have anything to say? No, go. Go? Prickly yeah, go. Pete, Sumo Joe, your semi-main event for tonight. Business as ever is Sumo Joe looking to make another point. Be a feather in his cap if he got a thing in the back of his mind. He's thinking if he gets past Pete here tonight, it's going to further get under the skin of the man who took the title from him. But he shouldn't be thinking of that. He should be focusing on Pete. And Pete just straight up walking into everything so far in the opening 30 seconds of this matchup. He is not backing down. He is not giving Joe enough space to really just deliver a lot of the strikes that he's known for. In fact, I strongly believe that if, if Joe tries to throw this man across the ring, uh, he's going to sink his teeth into Joe. <laughs> we saw Joe go for the... He blocked uh, it. He did block it. He, he, he is understanding. Now, Pete feels pain. There's no doubting that. It's just whether he, he enjoys it or not because he's going to get a lot in the match here tonight. Joe's uh, Joe's particular flavor of violence is, uh, is, is an acquired taste, but maybe Pete can sink his teeth into that, Dino. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh he clanged his head onto that side rail but that doesn't seem to be slowing him down one damn iota well the outside is where all the toys are kept as you and see him reach for one and we got a piece of table oh joe is going to opt to get back in the ring what's none of that table you don't want to trade with joe those chops I don't give a fuck about your warning no. no. So trying to bait him back in the ring, trying to get the one up on him. Pete getting underneath him for that body slam. Back elbow there. Nothing pretty about that. Oh, Joe with the sh Suma rush just coming back to his, his roots there. That offensive technique, unlike any other in W3, it's hard to plan for. Hard to, the throat and stomping right on the mouth of hard, Joe. Hard to play for that. Just heavy footing it to the back of the head. Pete just punching away, taking those 
heavy foot in the grease to the back of the skull. That is all weight coming through on that leg. That's a lot of weight. 330 and just stomping at the face again. Oh. <laughs> Jaw jacking the former champion. Oh, and he has taken offense to it. Classic Joe. Back, Back elbow. elbow there. Dino, he seems to be working over the face of Zuno. As well as he fucking should. Fuck the mid stack shit and everything else. Just go for the face. Try to knock the man out just by simply squashing him under your boot like a fuck. Absolutely. I mean, Pete is out here to make Joe pay for treating oh, him like that a That double barrel DDT! Let's, let's call it like it is. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Oh, he, he asked for it! He fucking asked for it! He used Pete to get to Tom. Pete's out here saying, you should have used me to get to me because you got my attention. Right? Oh, and, and he's, he's got, got his favorite. <laughs> there she is. Oh, his face bounced off the guardrail. Oh! <laughs> He had some evil intentions. Oh my god! Unsafe and then stomp directly to the face. Oh no! Oh no! Jade, what happens backstage? He's gotta get back inside! He's up and he's got a weapon! Oh. Swings away and he caught the chest of Joe! Punch him right in between the eyebrows, stomp it, well, snock, sock it away at the head. Jesus, knock my fucking speech out. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Oh my god, the stomps! No. You go for the head every time. Fuck the midsection, fuck the back. You go for the skull. That is what Pete is doing. <gasps> oh, no. One more time. This time One, in the ring. One, two, two three. three. It wasn't Fucker. enough. Pete tried to keep it on the outside. He had a valiant effort in doing so. Joe just caught him. Caught him by the throat, the usurper chop, that's all it took. One on the outside. What another one in the ring before? If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. He's caught him with several now. I maybe I'm thinking back to older usurper chops because Pete has been on the receiving end of quite a few of those. I will point out a small detail that I noticed there at the end of the match, Big Dog, was that Sumo Joe has a tendency to show his arrogance even in victory, especially in victory often, and has, has a, uh, a tendency to turn his back to his opponents in, uh, in just a sign of disrespect. I noticed at the end there, while well, he got the one, two, three, he still kept his eyes on Pete. I think... <sighs> I still think the disrespect is off the charts here from Sumo Joe, but Prickly Pete in a wrestling match took it to Joe here tonight. Wasn't enough to do it. 11 minutes, 7 seconds. Got put away with that usurper chop. But, uh, <laughs> you know as well as I know. Is Pete breathing? Then it's not over. Pete's going to come after Oh, this isn't over. This isn't over. Pete's gonna come after Joe. <laughs> Maybe a wrestling match isn't what is suited. <laughs> oh boy, we are here. We are at your main event of the evening. You know what it is. You know it's a rematch, and you know who's in it. Oh man. All right, this is this is definitely one that I can get behind. This is a rematch that we here at W3 have been waiting for for a damn good while. Uh, it's it's somebody this time coming in as a heavyweight, as a legitimate heavyweight. Hannibal testing his steel against Wu Fang, and uh, let's not forget Wu Fang does not have a pinfall victory over Hannibal. That was a count-out victory. You're looking very confused. It was a count-out victory. Did not pin the man's shoulders down. Yes, he was out when he hit the ground. But so, you know as well as I know, Legend, you used to be a wrestler. I used to be a wrestler too. When you hear the hand coming down, 
there's an instinct that forces your shoulder off of that canvas. You, I've been knocked out and I've kicked out. You've been knocked out and you've kicked out. Would that have been the scenario with Hannibal if he stayed in the ring? I don't know, but we may get an answer right here. Two of the best wrestlers in the entire world. Two completely different styles coming to a head tonight once again to settle the difference. To maybe make or break Hannibal in the heavyweight division that he is <laughs> embodying right now. He is he is submerging himself in the heavyweight division and he is starting with odds on the best wrestler in the world today. Do you like his chances, Legend? You're asking me... To, to, to make a bet that I just don't want to, I know. to make. You're I know. asking me, the, the, the rise of the Firebird Phenom in the W3 has been one of the greatest stories that I've had the privilege of analyzing and reporting on. Uh, Hannibal, since the Great American Thrash, has really just reinvented himself and 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 let put everyone on notice follow the, the entire war with the chi dynasty this transition into a darker version of himself uh, accessing something within him to overcome the 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 obstacles in front of him it's poetic it's 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 like a it's one of those epic poems that you that you would read about in in a university literature class um and you're asking me to and he's captured the hearts of the entire W3, um, the, the, the Dub3 faithful, the Dub3 loyal, we love to see him. And, and, and you're asking us a bet against our heart or my heart versus my captain? You want me to choose? Wu Fang is, it was, is absolutely, as you said, the greatest, I believe, for my money, the greatest professional wrestler in the world right now. And and while he doesn't hold the W3 World Heavyweight Championship, he... he Every single match he has is pay-per-view main, main event caliber. He is still the one to to beat. He's still the one to pitch yourself against to find out what you're worth and, and, and what you can do and how far you can rise and if you are ready yet. I don't want to... I don't want to choose. I want Hannibal to be ready, but I'm not ready for Wu Fang to drop. Does that make sense? It makes all the sense in the world. Dino, I... I, I for professionalism, I have to ask you: How's this one? How, how's this one looking in your eyes? How, like, do you think Hannibal coming in as a heavyweight, as a legitimate heavyweight, there's not much of a weight difference here? I don't know if that played a factor into their last match. I don't know, but it is. It, it did, but I mean, it did, but it didn't fucking matter. Just like uh, their weight divisions don't fucking matter because this man was a junior at the time. And won. And, and won. The great American thrash. He was the guy that did it. So. I, 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 lightning, uh, they say lightning can't strike twice, but they obviously don't study science to where there are rare occasions. So, I mean. This could be the ridiculous. It could happen. It could happen. Both the Great American Thrash and the July 11th episode featuring Hannibal versus Wu Fang Wan are now archived on our official YouTube channel. Yeah, go follow that. Yeah. And after you do that, we are getting into it. The main event tonight, Hannibal and Wu Fang, the rematch. Whew. Let's go ahead and get these guys out here. Fuck, I don't know. I... Betting against Wu Fang is always interesting.
Shay Delible with a good point out of the crowd saying, Hannibal has pinned Joe. Why don't you ask Wu about that? Oh, <laughs> oh he threw the big one there early. Go. There <laughs> we go. And Wu Fang definitely, uh, I mean, even if he were to forget, you know for a fact that he would watch the footage to make sure he does not fall for it again. <laughs> I mean, the, the 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 sheer ability in the ring right now is second to none. You're only going to find this at W3. Well, I mean, keep in mind, too, that, that Paradox Fusion that he knocked Hannibal out with almost came as a desperation because he barely kicked out after Hannibal hit the deal seconds before. See, that deal is dangerous. Going low and then going to the midsection. Hannibal Hannibal. Let if Hannibal gets Dino. the deal on the outside and causes the same outcome just reversed, I'm gonna lose my shit. Oh! <laughs> nice! Beautifully placed kick right into the face of Wu Fang. I was right Wu face. about to say, you know, the precision <laughs> right between the eyes. And this uh, is and where you're right gonna get in trouble. This is where you're gonna get in trouble with Wu Fang. Yep. And he knocked him back a couple of scoots. Sometimes you gotta take a step back and reassess the situation. Maybe, uh, maybe biting to the, rising to the bait isn't the best idea. Oh, sandwich him in the corner. Now that is something that Hannibal is going to have on on Wu Fang. Yes, he is technically heavyweight. He gained ten pounds for this, but ten pounds uh, to to a competent athlete such as Hannibal isn't gonna show you isn't gonna slow you down that bad. Especially when he um, powers up like that. He is going to be the quicker uh, competitor in this. And Wu Fang in the heavyweight division isn't used to that. He's one of the smaller heavyweights. Yeah, it doesn't stop him from sitting on, your, uh, sitting on your chest and raining down forearms on you. No, not at all. Oh! Going to the eyes, too. Okay, I mentioned this darker side of Hannibal that's come forth since his battle with the Chi Dynasty. That <gasps> and that's not Paradise what are you kidding me? <gasps> he, he fucking nailed him with his own move. Oh boy, it's getting heated. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Should have went for the pin kit, and I think Wu Feng is gonna make him pay for it. Part of me wonders if he was trying to drop him out of the ring. <laughs> Into the corner. He, he covers that ring so fast. Oh, he got oh, caught! No. Kick out immediately, though. You can't be going for that, especially against a man like Wu Fang. Oh, now picking him up onto the top. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back elbow, though. Got caught, though. Wu Fang deciding to come down, knowing that... Hannibal is more versed with the aerial counters. Beautiful drop right on the back of his neck. That was rough. That was a rough landing. <gasps> oh! oh he's, up. he's up! Paying off fusion! And right oh, outside. outside! But he did not knock him out! He's he did not knock him out! Okay. He is back to his feet! Holy shit! Oh, flashbacks! When he dropped him right out in front of us before. 450 splash to the back, the small of the back, but he landed awkwardly. Oh my god! More time with that fisherman's buster! No! What has he got in mind here? He got caught! Oh! oh the back of his head. I think he got excited there and slipped up. Now. You can't do that again. <laughs> That's what the cat. Oh, he just stole him right in the face. Oh no. He's inviting him again. That's not an invitation you want to accept. No! Oh, I don't think he was expecting that. Right shit. I'm going to kick you in the he, face. He took him up on the offer. Oh. Wisely going for his strong point. Why play Wu Fang's game when you should play Hannibal's game? Yeah. 
<gasps> the DL! Yeah! One, two, two, two point nine! He kicked out of the deal! Guys, he kicked out of the deal! No one kicks out of the deal! Nobody! Wu Fang does! Ooh, caught him with that kick. You know he's been working the heavy bag with those kicks. That's why he was such a, a fast-paced kick. Whoa. Snapped right back with it. That was an awkward kick to the lower hips. Ooh, going for the shoot. Now, he has one of the scarier shooting star presses. My God. Two. Yeah, we do not want a Hannibal Buster. Oof. Slow back rotation. Up, bottom. Picks him up. Paradox There it is again. This time, kept it inside the ring, but he just needs He's to move over. He's back to his feet. Ooh, he walked past. He got caught. He got caught. This oh, my God. How? One, two. two. Oh, 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 two my. Point again. How? <laughs> Damn. Oh, his He's beautiful so toes. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. The crowd appreciates this one. Listen to him. Holy shit. They're giving them a second to revel in their glory. Oh, he mowed him down with that one. Ooh. 16 minutes. These guys showing no. Oh. What? One. One. Two. Beautiful two. bridge. Oh. oh. He keeps on. going for it! Again. He wants to finish him up! One, One two, two, three, oh no! Oh my god! This time at just two! Previously it was 2.9! He is fighting the count! Fo bit by bit working backwards! Fo Shen known for its period out minds! He keeps digging deeper with that fusion drop to the back of the head! He got caught! On the His toe's under the ropes. Picks him up one more time! Oh. And turn to the outside again! Oh, he's got a different plan! He's gonna fly! Oh. Oh, cross body oh. support. But Hannibal kicks him off for whatever he had in mind after. Into the wall! Whoa, Stay long in that wall. Oh. This darker side of Hannibal is definitely reflecting. He's taken so many damn... <gasps> He's on the One, One, two, two three. <laughs> Holy fuck! He just fucking beat him with his own move! Oh my god! Beyond. Beyond what? You could call the Great American Thrash as his biggest one, yet he is a former junior heavyweight champion. This, <laughs> yes, as said in the chat, the heavyweight division has been disrupted, and in a huge way, Hannibal gets a pinfall victory over Wu Fang. Who Firebird has... is risen. Are there only two people that have pinned Wu Fang in W3 now? Yep. Hannibal becomes the second man and to that person, pin Wu Fang. That person, Hannibal, also has pinfall victories over Sumo Joe and Major Tom.